Okay, I'd like to take a step back and explain to you if, if you cloned your item and you didn't happen to come up with object data, the screen we have here, I want to explain to you how to get back to that. I'm going to just click all the items. And what, what we're looking for is object data. Let's just go off of that. Okay, to get to that, we need to click object data and then go over here and click whatever happens to be over here. And we also should change the name of our item here, the test object, and commit that, and save our file. And next, I want you to pay attention to the name reference here. It says SimPE Sculpture China Vase. Well, the Sculpture China Vase is the crest name for the actual vase we cloned. And we want to update that so that it has what we've called it in our crust. And this is a very important step. If you don't do this, anyone else who clones this particular vase and they didn't happen to do to, to fix their integrity, it would cause problems between your item and theirs. So click Tools, Object Tools, and Fix Integrity. And all you have to do is click OK here. And notice how now it says Test Object with all of our information that we'd named it when we named our file. Okay, and then you just need to click Save there. Anytime you see italicized typing in this area, that means you haven't saved your work. It's another important item to note. Okay, now I'd like to teach you how to extract the file to be used in Milkshape. So I want you to go up here to the Geometric Data Container, or GMDC for short. Then go over here to the Resource List and select the item. Now I'd like you to copy everything prior to underscore TS Locator. Right click on that. Select Copy. Then go up here to the Resource List. Click on that and right click. Select Extract. And I'm going to extract it into a working folder I have on my desktop. But I want you to either select Paste, or you could have used Shift Insert here, and select Save. And we're going to close SimPE and open Milkshape. Okay, now we're going to import our mesh into Milkshape. Go to File here and then import and then down here you'll find Sims 2 Unimesh import version 4.9 provided you've installed WSH's plugins. If not then I'll hit, I will be posting information on where to find these. Okay, So we're going to select this option and then go to our working folder and find the test object that we exported in, the, in there. Select that and click open. And there we have our vase. Now we're just going to make some minor changes to this vase just to show you how to do to make a few things to, to do a few things in Milkshape and then how to re-import that back into SimPE. So I want you to go over here and select the select option select option and then drag your mouse holding down the left button just drag it over some vertices here and I just want to move these down a bit so we're going to go down here to the move options X would move it going back and forth the Z here would move it going in this direction like my mouse is showing you and the Y option goes up and down in the Sims game, Y and Z are reversed. I'm not sure quite why that is. I believe also in Max 3D, it has Z in the right position and Y in the right position. For some reason, Milkshape doesn't do that. But let's move it downward. So we'll use the Y option here. To move it down, I need to use a negative, so minus. And I'm just going to move it a little bit at a time. Let's go down little bit and then I want to scale it and I'll use both the Z and the X 
options. Well, that'll shrink it in a little bit. Let's go on a little more. And select some more vertices by dragging your mouse over the area you want to select. And then we're going to go back to move. And because I want to move it up this time, I'm going to remove my negative sign and move it up. You can also just have this selected and move your vertices up and down by dragging them, but then you might not have them in, in an, have it straight. So I'm going to not select using that option. Once you get really good at it, you could do that. But you can always go to Edit Undo if you've made a mistake in what you're doing. Then let's go to Scale and scale that down some. And select a few more up here. Move those down. And then we have a little bit different shape as to the original. Now, if we wanted to see how the texture looks on this, we could go to Groups and double click on that to select this vase. A lot of items will have more than one group. This happens to have just one. Maybe for a more advanced tutorial, I'll teach you more about different groups. For now, we'll just use this one. Then click on Materials. And the first thing we need to do is click the New, because we're going to give it a new material. And to import a PNG or JPEG or what, whatever type of image file you have, we'll click None here. And I already had one created in my working folder, so I'm going to select that and open it. And then we'll click Assign. If we'd had more than one type of group, we could have just assigned it to one group. Oops, I didn't mean to move that. And you could have more than one texture also. But it's turned out about the way I had it intended. So we'll export this. Oh, also, I was going to show you some options here. Notice I have the textured up here with the wireframe. If you right click on your mouse, you could have just the wireframe showing or flat shaded or as I showed you the textured. And there's also smooth shaded, color groups, or colored smoothing groups, and colored groups. If you had more than one group, the colored smoothing group would show you different colors for the different groups. Okay, so now we're going to go to File, Export, and we want to find Sims 2 Unimesh Exporter version 4.9. And we're going to just overwrite the original file. That's why I had you name it this. And I'll show you that in a minute when we import it back into SimPE. But just click, select this one and click Save. And I want to overwrite it, so I'm going to say yes. Okay, and now we'll be going back to SimPE.